Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, do not wait, get in line, angelsouls444.com. I also have lives coming up, a lot of them, okay? So <laughs> always check the description box, do not miss your chance to get those tickets, okay? All that information is there along with my socials if you want to follow me, I don't know, wherever I end up landing. Like every time there's a new social media thing, I got to go land on it. You know what I mean? Okay. So we have Akasha. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. There's a reason why I still use these older decks with this very dated kind of language. First of all, I think the power of the deck, it's not the power of the deck, but my ability to work with the deck, <laughs> still, it's still there. It's, it's good, whatever. But it's also a good opportunity to point out how far we have come. Really? In this general deck, everybody's a spiritual teacher? No. No. This deck is from back in the day. I'm going to tell you what this really means. But it's from back in the day when we were spiritually sidestepping. Uh, everyone was on their little spiritual high. They were in delusional thinking. Spiritual escapism. And we had authors, teachers out there going, yeah, I, I, I have the ticket to the promised land. Here, I'll go along with your delusion so you feel more at peace. It's interesting, isn't it? It's fun, isn't it? It's intriguing, isn't it? Not everybody watching this is a spiritual teacher. Give me a break. What else does it say? You have the ability to counsel others. No, you don't. Fix your own stuff. And help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. I mean, sure. Work on your own stuff and share your experience. That's all I'm doing here. Like, I'm, I'm, I mean, I figured out social media a little bit and that's my career. <laughs> and I'm a medium. But, you know, I've never said over here, been like, I got it all worked out. We're good, right? So, Akasha. Think Akashic Records. Think. And those Akashic Records are expansive. When we do Akashic Records readings, right? Um... It's too much to get into. I hope that you guys got the angelic, uh, the angelic self live that I will have explained that. But we're just kind of going over into little tiny little granules of experiences that your soul is going through. And that all comes together in a being. And then that all comes in together. And then, and then pretty soon, you know, you get into being one kind of thing. So I think this is more coming up as... It has kind of a heads up, like I said, to not go into spiritual thinking, not just, or spiritual thinking, spiritual sidestepping and thinking that, you know, I'm special now because I did some meditations and I had a vision and that means I can go off and teach others. <laughs> Do you know how much trouble that gets us all in? No, this is where we start getting the false gurus and... The, the biggest part of that message is watch for people. This isn't necessarily addressing you. Watch for people who are so egotistical that they think they're more enlightened than anybody else. I mean, there are people out there who are good teachers who have really studied their, you know, but they studied, right? They study, they do their practice. They have gone on their journeys. They've done it. You know, they're the good spiritual teachers, but this disturbing trend of the past few years of like the pop-up spiritual teacher, the pop-up tarot reader, the pop-up psychic, and people are eating it up. I mean, cool. Listen, if there was a whole bunch of like, like everybody had really done their spiritual growth and all of a sudden everybody's coming out and sharing, oh my gosh. That would be heaven. That would just be like everyone's, you know, in this together. There's no competition. We're cooperative with one another. We're supporting one another. That is not what's out here, guys. The last fellow spiritual practitioner who was ever supportive of me was George Corey, who you guys may have known, may know that he passed away. And... I'll tell you what, that ripped a hole in my heart for sure. But he was never competitive with me. We helped each other out. Some of you went and got readings with him, you know, 
And I'm sure he sent some clients my way too, you know, because I, you know, when we did our lives together, all of a sudden there was, I keep hitting my ring. <laughs> it's a big ring. Uh, I, all of a sudden I had some new clients coming my way. But that's not what's happening. This card is coming up and saying, don't just do things that satisfy your brain and you go, okay, I did it. Yes, now I can be a teacher. Yes, now I can. I cringe when people call me a spiritual teacher because I haven't studied every um, belief system. I haven't gone on some of these spiritual, I mean, I've gone on my own type of spiritual journey, but like, um, I don't know. I, I just haven't studied like some of these people have. I wish I, I would like to, <laughs> right? But, you know, I just haven't been guided to that yet. So I think this is a card of watch your ego. And, and don't think that you are done growing. And don't put yourself on a pedestal. And be careful of people who are putting themselves on pedestals. And be careful of people who just want to tell you what you want to hear so that you feel special. Watch the pop-up psychics. Watch out for the pop-up tarot readers. Any kind of practitioner. Be discerning. We'll leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.